Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Katie and today we're going to be talking about some like old school way fantasy favourites. So I feel like a lot of my like favourite way fantasy books are slightly older books that are maybe nowadays not so talked about and I don't <laughs> because I wasn't around around I was around then but when they were first out and popular I don't know how like popular they were at the time but now they all have a very special place in my heart and I feel like they're all a very sort of <laughs> similar-ish type vibe it's like this sort of like almost high fantasy feeling but in like a more YA setting so I would really recommend all these series um so yeah I'm just gonna talk about them so the first book is still well, the first series sorry it's still actually ongoing and that is the Graceling series by Kristin Kishore I love these books so so much and I'm so excited for Sea Sparrow which is the fifth book which comes out later uh, this year I think or well, maybe early next year um but yeah um so the first book Graceling we're following this character called Katza who basically is graced so in the world people who are graced have um like a certain power um, and they have the like uh, what is it called heterochromia eyes <laughs> like where the eyes are two different colors and it basically that's a sign of having a power um so Katza's power is like she can like kill people and she's used in a, a type thing. I, it's not quite, but that's kind of a part of the plot. So I don't really want to spoil anything. <laughs> but basically she's working for her uncle as like an assassin. Um, and then they find out about this um, character who's been like kidnapped, I think. And then they have to, she and this other character called Poe, um, have to go like across the country and rescue this young girl who is under threat <laughs> um so that's basically it it's, it's kind of a, a bit of a romance like I loved Cats from Poe um and just the whole like grace world I just love it all so much um and it's really interesting series because the so the first three books it's kind of it was three books and then they added a couple more on <laughs> but the first three books all have the same sort of villain in a sort of like past present future type vibes because the, the second book, Fire, is set probably like 70-ish years before Graceling. Um, following this, Fire is probably, Fire and Winterkeep are my favourites so far. But, so Fire, we're following this character called Fire, who is known as a monster. So basically she has like this magical hair. No, she doesn't have magical hair, but monsters have like really colourful hair. And she can like, um, I think she can do things like telepathically to people um and um, basically they're in this other kingdom called the dells which is not part of the main like graceling kingdoms um and it's been so long since i read it i can't really remember what happens but she ends up going with like so her father was who's now dead but he was like advisor to the king but he made an absolute mess of the kingdom both the king and fire's father um so now they're trying to put the kingdom back together and fire goes to like the prince and the prince's brother to try and help them out um and again it's a romance and the prince's brother um, and fire have like the romance and it's so, oh i love it so much i love it so much um yeah it's just a really great series and then bitter blue we're following a character called bitter blue who is the daughter of yeah the daughter of the main villain um which is really interesting and she's sort of dealing with his like aftermath um and bitter blue is the child that cats and poe like have to rescue in book one so bitter blue and graceling are more like closely linked than fire is um but i don't know i just really love the whole series and then winter keep is like slightly different they're traveling across the ocean to like this other kingdom but i love winter keep so much Um, there's a lot of like fa well the whole series has a lot of sort of like family abuse and like trauma and things but it's really interesting Um, i think especially in winter keep it's done really well i would just really recommend the series though <laughs> yeah um, and then after that we have oh my little baby and that is the shattered realm oh no the seven realms and shattered realms by cindy williams chimer i love this series so so much i honestly need to read reread them because i've well I've, I've only read seven realms once but i've reread shattered realms about five times <laughs> I just love it. Um, so the first series is set in this like mountainous kingdom. It reminds me a lot of like Austria or Switzerland, those type of vibes. Um, following the queen's daughter, the princess, and it's a queendom, so the like she's next in line for the throne, basically. Um, I've forgotten her name as well. Racia, Racia. Um, and she is like trying to avoid marriage basically i think um, and then she meets this other character called han who 
um, is this like street rat basically who's also a magician and the start of the book Han finds these like magical demon amulet thing that used to belong to this ancient figure called the demon king um, and then the first book I would say mostly their stories like run parallel but then they kind of intersect towards the end and then the rest of the series they are like quite intersected stories <laughs> and the second book in the first series is like a magical school setting which is really cool yeah, and it just sort of follows the adventures <laughs> um, and then the second series is sort of following the some of the descendants from the, or the children of characters from the first series and also some new characters and um, I just really love it there's like dragons there's like these mage mark people who are like being hunted down by this empress and um, all the four books have slightly like a different name romance uh, well maybe except the last one but the first three have like different romance pairings and then sort of all the characters are all together in the last book um but I love them all so much and I don't know I just I feel like I'm so attached to all the characters and the last book has these little baby dragons that are so cute um so yeah I would just highly recommend that series I feel like I'm doing a really bad job at describing these other than like reading <laughs> um but yeah and then we also have um, Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. And this, so this is like, there's a trilogy and then there's a spin-off book following like the, uh, a younger character who's in the original trilogy uh, when she's a bit older. Um, but I really love this series. It's really like different, I feel like, from a lot of YA. Oh, and, but then it, at the time, but then it feels like almost foundational for a lot of what you see now. I don't know. Um, so this book discusses um, eating disorders, which I thought was really interesting, and like binge eating disorder, especially in a fantasy setting, I think is really interesting. Um, and the, oh my gosh, I forgot about the romance. Oh, um, so the main character, I think she's called like Eliza or Elise or something along those lines, um, and then Hector. And I was completely obsessed with their romance, in book two especially. Oh, the angst and the like, mm. and it's like Princess and the Bodyguard, which is a trait that just gets me every single time. Um, it's so good. I feel like book one, there's not really much of the romance, but like books two and three, oh, it's so good. Um, so basically, Elise, Eliza, <laughs> whatever her name is, um, travels to this other kingdom, to be like engaged to the prince or marry the prince um and there she has to like navigate the politics of the court because she's not very welcomed um by this new court um so it's it's very interesting um and then i feel like the book ends up they end up on like a quest mission thing can't remember exactly what happens but it's really good it's really like atmospheric um and just feels like you know those sort of classic nostalgic vibes yeah and the romance. I love these books. I'm feeling like, oh, I do like love the romances. I feel like maybe that's why I like them so much because like a lot of newer um, YA fantasy, I never really care about the romance so much. I don't know if that was just because of nostalgia or I feel, no, I feel like it is they were better back in the old days. <laughs> oh, I sound like such an old person, but I don't know. There are some YA fantasies that come out now that I love and have so much like good romance and stuff. Maybe it's just the ones you remember from the older like the really good ones so but anyway but all these books just have that like nostalgic feeling i don't know <laughs> um and then after that we have finnegan of the rock um which is a trilogy and the first book i kind of is okay but the second two are so good um and this is a very like political i feel like it's a good book if you want or a good series even if you're wanting to like if you read a lot of YA fantasy but you're wanting to like dip your toes into adult fantasy um and I, I can't remember exactly what happens in the first book but I remember the second book called Froy of Exiles it's like this um character called Froy who's like been oh no 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 so the first one Finnegan is like he is um his like kingdom I think was destroyed so he's sort of living in exile uh, but he's almost going trying to get his kingdom back and that's sort of the story um and he is like quite a, a, a powerful, I don't know, figure. Um, but it's, it's a really interesting story. And then the second book, Freud, is a character who's in book one and he's like a younger, um, almost apprentice type thing to Finnegan. Um, I might be remembering this completely wrong, but I feel like that's what it is. And he gets sent to this other like court where there's this sort of mad princess called Quintana, Quintana. Um, and 
they're throwing Quintana like very closer. But it's so good. Quintana or Quintana, I can't, I can't say her name, but is one of my favourite characters. She's so good. And I feel like this series really explores the sort of pitching a woman you don't understand as like a mad or a witch. And it's just a really interesting like character study and also kind of societal study. Um and I love uh, Freud Quintana and then this the last book I feel like is just more of the plot and stuff. I <laughs> can't remember exactly what happens. Maybe I need to reread them, but I remember really loving it. Um and I feel like there's some sort of like side romances and things that I remember really liking as well. Um so yeah, I would highly recommend the series. Okay, and then after that we have the Queen's Poisoner, I think is the first book by Jeff Wheeler. Um, and I like to think of this series as like a YA Realm of the Eldlings and I would really really highly recommend it if you like Realm of the Eldlings or if you just like like any sort of drama, <laughs> poisony drama. Um, so the first half, of, so it's like a six book series and the first three books follow Owen um, and then the second book, three books follow like Owen's daughter, I can't remember exactly her name, it's like Trendelene or something, it's a very fantasy name. Um, so in the first book, Owen, his like parents get poisoned, I think, and he gets sent to live, oh, his parents get poisoned, or his parents die anyway, and he gets sent and he's basically has to this other kingdom to become like the poisoner's apprentice. Um, and there's a lot of just like political drama. Um, I really like in this series how their like relationship that I feel like is teased in like book one and book two a little bit is not what ends up like being the main or is not what like the relationship ends up being I, I don't know I just quite like that like the love interest like the one who he ends up with in book three I loved so much she's like this sort of magical sprite almost <laughs> I just love her um and like the political like drama and stuff is just really good and then in typical me fashion the last three books I love even more because they are um following the children <laughs> and I don't know I just have a real weakness for like the next generation down um so we're following like Owen's daughter and I can't remember exactly what happens again but I just remember loving it like there's lots of political drama I think her like father goes missing at one point and I have to try and find him um and I remember loving the romance as well um in the second half um it's like again good and angsty and it's I think they're like childhood friends um and it's a bit of slight like bodyguard princess vibes although not she I don't think Trendelene Trendelene is princess or maybe she is actually this is why I need to reread all these series <laughs> um but yeah it's just a great a great series and if you've read it I'm really sorry because I just butchered all the character names <laughs> but um yeah i would highly recommend it, especially if you like realm of the other links uh, so that is all the series i'm going to recommend in this video so i hope you enjoyed i will maybe i think i will make another video of my like favorite um more modern <laughs> modern <laughs> way fantasies because i do have some series that i absolutely love as well so if you're interested in that definitely let me know and let me know in the comments if there's any like old way fantasy series that you really love and um, i'd really love to know um, and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already and I hope everyone is having a really great day and I will see you next time